All right, we're ready to look at the most used and abused technique of differentiation, the chain rule. And that is when we attempt to take the derivative of the composition of functions. So, for example, a composition of two functions may be f of x equals e to the 2x, or f of x equals x minus 3 squared or f of x equals the sine of e to the x. So these are just some examples of composition of functions where we know the derivative of parts of our pieces of their, this, the, these functions, but we're not really sure how to handle them when they're composed. All right, so let's see if we can come up with our own rule before I just state it for you. All right, so if I give you f of g of x, so the composition of two functions, we are tempted to say that if I take the derivative, so let's write d dx of f of g of x, the derivative of this composition, oops, I am going to get, well, f prime of g of x, that is taking the derivative of this outside function. So for example, this is what many are tempted to, to say. If f of x equals e to the 2x, then its derivative is e to the 2x. f of x equals sine of um, 2x, then f prime of x is the cosine of 2x. This is very tempting and very, very wrong. Okay, so let's see if we can figure out what it is. Let's actually start with this example e to the 2x. So what we do know is that, and let's call it something else, g of x will say is equal to e to the x. What we know is that its derivative is e to the x. Okay, so if I take the derivative with respect to x of e to the x, then I get e to the x. Now, I'm taking the derivative with respect to x, but this right here isn't x, it's some function of x, all right? This is the composition of functions. Uh, one way we could look at this is e to the x squared, okay? So since we don't yet know the chain rule, let's see if we can write it as a product. So we know our exponential rules, e to the 2x equals e to the x times e to the x, right? Because that's e to the x plus x or e to the 2x. Now, if I want to take the derivative of this function, I can do it by way of the product rule. So f prime of x is the derivative of the first, e to the x times the second, plus the first function times the derivative of the second. So I actually have, so e to the x times e to the x, remember, is e to the 2x, plus another e to the 2x, and I actually have 2 e to the 2x. So it's not what it's not, the derivative is not e to the 2x, right? It's 2 times e to the 2x. So just as some foreshadowing, it's, it's the derivative of this times the derivative of this. All right, just put that in your head for a minute. All right, let's look at another example. Let's say I have f of x equals 2x squared plus 3 squared. All right, let's decompose this. So I could write this as f of x equals this inside function, which we'll call g of x squared. So the decomposition of this, h of x is the square function, and g of x is this 2x squared plus 3. Right, so h of g of x is this function evaluated, um, h, h evaluated here, so 2x squared plus 3 squared, all right? And that is indeed f of x, all right? Okay, if we take, if, if we make this mistake, and say that the derivative of this function right here, um, h of g of x equals h prime of g of x, then what we would be saying is that its derivative is, uh, 
so what's the derivative of x squared? It's twice what's our inside, 2x squared plus 3. That's what we would be saying, right? If we're taking the derivative of h evaluated at g, this is what we would get. So that's the mistake, right? Let's actually take the derivative of f in ways we know how. So I'm going to expand this because at this point I only know the product quotient um, and the power rule. So f of x equals 4x to the fourth plus 6x squared twice, so 12x squared plus 9. All right, so its derivative is 16x cubed plus 24x. All right? Mm-hmm. Now, from here, let's see if we can do some factoring. I'm going to factor out mm, an 8x. So 8x, and I leave behind 2x squared plus 3. All right, so this is starting to look like this, but notice it's not quite that. I'm going to pull off a 2. So this is equal to 4x times 2 times 2x squared plus 3. Now this right here, as we noticed, is h, the derivative of h, evaluated at g. But it's got more. It's got this extra 4x, which is, actually this one, it's the derivative of g. Okay? So let's, let's restate that. The derivative of f when f is the composition of two functions, is equal to, so if f is equal to h of g of x, it's equal to the derivative of h evaluated at g times the derivative of g. Let's see if we can formally state that. And we'll try to put it in words that are, uh, that make sense and are useful to us. Okay, so let's say if g is differentiable at x and h is differentiable at g of x, all right, then f of x, which is the composition of h of g of x, has this derivative. It's the derivative of the outside function evaluated at the inside function times the derivative of the inside function. Okay? Now I'm going to pause this here for you to absorb and think about and then immediately following this um, video you should look at an, um, an example video where I'll work a lot of these chain rule problems.